Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover how you can propagate figs from a cutting. So you can take a cutting like this and start growing fig trees like this. So let's first take a cutting. And I'm taking cutting from this fig tree that I planted last year. And since planting last year, it already has figs and it has grown up to about four feet tall. It has so many branches. I've already pruned a lot of branches from my fig trees. We have eight of them. And any branches that are actually low to the ground, you know, we prune them and we make more fig trees out of them. So let me show you how to take a cutting and what to do with it. Well, check out all these figs that are already on this tree. Amazing, only after one year. And check out this fig tree. It's about six feet tall. Isn't that amazing? Just one year of growth. I also have a video on tips on how to plant and grow fig trees as well, if you want to check it out. So I'm going to take a cutting from this branch right here because it's growing horizontally to the ground. So. It's not going to be good for the plant, so I'm going to clear it by taking this cutting. Use clean pruning shear, and I'm going to cut it just quarter of an inch or half an inch from the main stem. So I'm not going too close to the main stem. And there you go. I got the cutting. When taking a cutting, make sure you use the tip. This is the tip. That's where the new leaves come from. This is very important. Some people actually use the, the middle stem as well to grow figs from cuttings as well. However, I've had about 96% success rate just using the tips. And the stems at the bottom usually gives you about 40 to 50% success rate. So that's why I only use the tips, not the middle stems at all. This way I don't waste any effort growing these cuttings. So first remove all the leaves from the stem. There you go, even the top leaves as well. Make sure not to hurt the, the main stem that we're gonna use the cutting from. You don't want to hurt this new bird that's coming up. This is very important, that's where the new leaves comes from. So, let me get rid of this as well, there you go. I'm going to make a 45 degree cut, so keep about 12 inches to 18 inches of stem. So this is about 14 inches, which is pretty good. Now, scorch the sides like that. So our cutting is ready, it's already scorched. And the roots are going to start growing from these nodes, these leaf nodes right here. To grow fig trees from stem cuttings, use tree tubes like this. This gives the stem enough surface area to start growing roots. For growing medium, I use 60% potty mix, 20% compost, and 20% coconut coir. Coconut coir helps to retain moisture in the soil, which is very important for figs. So first make a hole with a stick so that the fig cutting does not face any resistance going into the soil. Then take the fig cutting and insert it in the, in the growing tube. Press the growing medium all around the stem to make the growing medium compact and make it come in contact with the stem. Now this next step is very important to lock in the moisture and humidity to grow fig trees. Put a stick next to the newly planted cutting and then cover the entire pot with some plastic. This will lock in the humidity for the fig stem to start growing. This one step will be a great factor in growing fig trees from cuttings. Leave the plastic on the cutting only for one week and then remove it. So I'm growing lots of fig trees from stems and here are a few to show you. And I also tried growing them in these shorter pots as well. And the success rate was about 60 to 70%, which wasn't very high. Then I switched over to these tree tubes and that's when the success rate became 95%. This idea came to me from growing grapes from cuttings and these tree tubes certainly help the fig stems to grow roots. Here's the cutting that I started three weeks ago and it's growing beautifully and it's already growing its first leaf. At this stage, the cutting is also developing roots. Here's the one I started three months ago. It already has three leaves and it's also making more leaves as well. Let me show you the roots on this. This one has developed really nice set of roots. After transplanting, the tree is doing really well. And you can plant this tree out in your garden in spring. Do not transplant in fall because fig trees can suffer from frost and die out in winter. So always plant fig trees in spring so that they have enough time to grow leaves and make roots to survive frost and winter. 
So this is a really nice and easy way to grow fig trees from cuttings. Now there are a lot of other methods to grow fig trees from cuttings as well, such as air layering, using middle stems, and a lot of different methods. However, I've tested this method on our farm with lots of trial and error, and I've found this to be the easiest to grow fig trees from cuttings with 95% success rate. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you can make lots of fig trees and grow lots of figs, and I'll see you in another video.